another trip today. It's going to be on a Thursday. No, today is a Friday. That's what today is. And uh, headed out to southeast Texas. I'm going to spend about, uh, about three hours driving down. I'm meeting up with uh, a, uh, a friend of mine. Jack Duke is his name. He's a member of the uh, Southeast Texas uh, Treasure Hunters Club down there. They have me coming in speaking at their event on Saturday night. And uh, since it's such a far drive, I always agree to these speaking engagements, but I always see if they can hook me up with a hunt to travel that far. And I come down a day early. We hunt today, this afternoon. We're going to hunt tomorrow. He's got two permissions that are really good, he says, that are really high potential, uh, old church site. Um, they have found some silver there and uh, a place where it dates way back there. South Texas is older than my area, East Texas. This, this, I'm more Central East Texas. They're down Southeast Texas. And uh, so who knows what we're gonna find, but uh, we're gonna have a good day. And uh, I haven't been down here. It's been about exactly almost two years since I've been down here speaking before. And had a good time hunting with them last time I was down here. But um, I'm hoping to have a good day today. Hoping to get on some stuff and, and they get on some stuff. And we can film it all to show you guys and make a great video. So I've got three hours to go. So y'all sit tight and I will see you out on location. Well, I'm down here in South Texas. Or not, not South. We're in the Southeast Texas, I should say. I live in East Texas too, but I live in Central East Texas. I'm out here with Jack Duke. Say hello, Jack. Hey. And he's a uh, president of the Southeast Texas Metal Detecting Club, and and I'm going to be speaking at his club tomorrow. And we're going to come out here on a location that we hunted together a while back, the first time I came down here two years ago. And he's found uh, what was it, a real? Found a two real. Two real and a black powder flask and a spur from. Found some good stuff. And uh, let me show you. Can I show the location? No. Nobody's gonna know where this is, so let me show you what I got. You can tell, big old live oak trees with the Spanish moss hanging out of it. Another group of trees over here. Looking really good, one big tree. So we're gonna see what we can find. If we find anything, we're gonna put the camera on it. And we'll show it to you, so I'll see you at the next dig. Oh, y'all check out that tree. That is beautiful, that moss hanging out of it. You can just see a house right out here. The real they found right over here. They found the spur over here and uh, other stuff. A ring over by this tree. So maybe we're gonna find something good. Let's get the swinging. I'll check this out. Jack just got a signal. Looks like a buckle up here and some type of interesting piece, like a miniature spur. Get up. But no, I, I've never seen one like that. You guys know what that is? Comment in the section below. Let us know. That's it. That's interesting. A lot of iron out here. A lot of iron objects like that. But that that looks brass. This is yeah, brass. I believe it's brass. Yeah, and there's the the buckle, iron tongue. That's a neat find. All right, that's promising. Let's keep at it. Well, Jack got his signal right there. I came over here and on my way out back to where I was at and got a a uh, fifteen sixteen signal. Got another old makeup case. There's the. I thought it's going to be another shotgun head stamp. There's the imprint right there. Hey, I'll take that. We're right here in some relics. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I'm out here today. We didn't find anything at that location that we were at yesterday, so we decided to come on up and meet up with uh, five other guys and a and a girl, and uh, we are out here today in an old sawmill location. And uh, tokens have been found out here, some other stuff, early 1900 stuff. So we're going to give this a, a good whack at it this morning and maybe later on hit a ghost town. But let me show you a little bit about this ghost town. I mean, this uh, sawmill. I'm standing here where all the old foundations were. Everybody's kind of scattered. The sawmill went back this way and came this way. And I guess this is where the big band saws were. Foundations in here. And it's all leading out to the mill pond. Pretty good size mill pond. Uh, this is down in uh, southeast Texas where there's a lot of sawmills. Just all in a row down here. So I'm hoping for a good token. You know, I have a great collection of uh, lumber uh, sawmill tokens. So maybe we can get one off of this sawmill. And I'll look this up when my sawmill 
uh, of Texas history book when I get back home. And maybe as I'm talking here, I can overlay some uh, pictures of the old sawmill, what it looked like and uh, stuff. So, but we're not going to find anything just talking. So let's get the swing. Making my way back down. I was just back over this way and uh, down coming by the pond. I got to remember that I'm in southeast Texas and this is alligator country. And so there could be alligators out here. But I came across this. Somebody had detected this a while back, a guy that was that brought us out here. Apparently he found this wrench. Let me show it to you. Check that out. That's old. Old technology there. Wrought iron. Cast iron. A lot of that stuff out here. It's just everywhere is just bricks and bolts you got to be careful you trip you'll fall down on one of those bolts and impale yourself but just a lot of this stuff old foundations over here they've been a sight to see this whole thing was a huge sawmill just everywhere you look Old jar. That looks healthy. You want to take a swig of it? It is still sealed up. I don't know how old that jar would be, but not that old with screw top on it. We'll just put it back where it was and keep on going I'm just walking through the woods and I walk up on this this is the old incinerator it's probably at least 40 feet tall I could even see it out here just amongst all these trees and it blends in let's go see if we can walk in this thing get a picture from the inside no, I'm too big to go through that hole. Let's just keep walking around. See if there's another. Yeah, here we go. How about that? Yeah. Now we're inside the incinerator. I would love to have been here back in the day when all this was being built and made. Don't tell them what's in the bottom of this thing. What they burn in here. Really neat. Kind of spooky. Out here in the middle of nowhere. And uh, good place to hide out. All right, we got our direction where we think the sawmill was. So we brought up the historical. We can see all the the concrete structures and stuff like that. But we looked on the historical aerials map, and uh, trying to make my way through here. And we got the current map and the historic aerials, laid them out together, and there's an area that we want to go investigate we think there was something there and so my friend thomas he brought up the historic aerial aerials and then i brought up my map showing which direction so we got a direction that we're going now we're just going to head that way I haven't found anything of course that's the way it is when you're doing little sawmill hunting you might come across an occasional silver coin or a token i'm looking for a token if i can just leave with one token I'm really happy with that. All right, made it up to my detector. Let's keep swinging. Look at the size of this tree. Yeah, right. Camera just doesn't do it justice. No. Oh, this tree is huge. That's been here a while. When that sawmill was here in the early 1900s. This tree was here too. Oh, right here at the base, I bet it's from that side to that side, at least six feet. Still standing. Well, I think I found that structure 
that's uh, the area that we were looking for on the old historic aerials it had uh, it was all clear but you can tell this was a huge structure and comes in behind me like a little chute or channel going out that way so I don't know probably they floated logs through here this probably is where they had a big bandsaw and they cut the logs right in here all right let's keep going haven't found anything but hey it's a historical trip that's that's pretty neat little tram cars they had they ran out you know off the main off the spur you know yeah I think that is a tram wheel that's pretty cool well we left this uh, sawmill we went over to another place some old home sites we didn't find anything over there then I realized when I went to film I didn't have my camera so I lost this whole setup so we're back over here at the sawmill and luckily I had taken a picture of a big tree and I knew we knew that tree was to where the truck was only less than a hundred yards and we found it so good I can make a video so we're gonna go get us a burger and we may just call it a day just one of those days where we don't find a whole lot but that's the way it goes sometimes so anyway I'll see you on the next one